Today's CC video will be how to make debug item or locked item normally available in buy mode without any cheats. I'll do one example for debug used this plant and I will do another example for a locked item. Also when I was at this career locked item I was just slightly annoyed by it because this is literally a pile of antique books but the item doesn't behave like that in the game meaning your sims cannot actually pick up a book and read it from this item it's just like a decorative item so I added a little bonus tutorial on how to make an object like these books work like bookshelf in game if you're interested in any of that go ahead and like this video also feel free to look around my channel and decide for yourself if you want to subscribe now let's just start with this tutorial what you'll need for this tutorial is sims 4 studio and that's all just sims 4 studio download link will be in the description now we're starting with debug here under object make sure standalone recolor is selected and click object this catalog of all object in the game pops up however this does not include debug if you want to see debug items tick this box next to debug i'm also going to sort it by base game i decided on this plant so select it and then click next right now i'm saving a dot package file this is a file that will go in my game so i'm saving it to my mods folder if you don't save it there right now you'll eventually have to move it there in order for it to work in your game once you saved your package file you will be brought here and this is where the important part of this tutorial kind of begins we're gonna go somewhere we never went before in this channel i'm going to the warehouse like literally these tabs up here select warehouse and this is what warehouse looks like it doesn't look all that fun but let's be real which warehouse really is now over here in this window you're gonna want to find object catalog click that now over here all information from the object catalog shows up and you're looking for the section that's called common so this one right here so it's like this little tab with some information underneath it it's all in the form that looks kind of like it looks like random letters and random numbers but they're not really random these actually contain like certain information about the object now what i'm looking for is for the one that says dev category flags okay I'm going to need to change this number so that the last two numbers are 8 and 0, so 80. Look, just make sure your number is exactly like the one you see on the screen right now. Now I'm just going to save changes. Also don't forget to give it tags because they are important for it to show up in the game under whatever it is that you want it to show up. This is a plant so I'm making it a bush, flower, all that. Once you've got your categories down, don't forget to click save. Now I'm just going to test it in the game. Okay, so sort by CC and this is my plant. So this was like a little tutorial for debug. Now I want to do one for locked item, which is actually easier. So again, open Sims 4 Studio, click object, look for the locked item. I decided on this pile of antique books that are locked behind, I believe it's a writing career, if I'm not mistaken. Select it and then save it as a package file. Now, as you can see, this one already has this option right here to make the item buyable. So, like I had said, this one is actually easier than debug because you can simply click make buyable. And don't forget to save the changes. Now the thing is that in game these books are just clutter they're like decorative you can't actually read books if you click on them and i don't think that's right so i was thinking for like a bonus content why not make these books behave like a little bookshelf now in order to do that i'm going to use another object that i'm going to use as a reference so i'm going to use an object that 
um, actually behaves like a bookshelf in game and that is also similar to my object. And then I'm going to just copy the information from my reference item and paste it to my pile of books. I hope that makes sense. If it didn't, um, I'll do it in practice right now. Okay, so open Sims 1 Studio in another window, click object, and like I had said, I'm looking for an item that behaves like bookcase in game and that is similar to my item. So I've decided on something like these books. So select them and just save it. Once here, we're gonna go to the warehouse to get the information. And now right here, you want to go to object definition. Now, as you may have noticed, there are several of them because each swatch has its own object definition. These are usually always the same. So it's fine to just pick the first one, I guess. And now while in object definition, look for tuning and tuning ID. Now this number next to tuning ID is what I want to copy and then paste into the same place, you know, in our pile of books. So, okay, just copy that number and then go to our book pile. Again, in warehouse, go to object definition and paste the new tuning ID. Again, paste it to all swatches meaning everywhere where you have object definition. I also did the same thing for tuning, this name next to it. I copied it and then pasted it into the same place in our pile of books. Again, I did this for all swatches. And that's it, then click save. Also, while we're at it, you know how like bookcases help Sims raise their fun bar. Yeah, you can do that in warehouse as well. So I'm going to look again at our reference object to see what it says there. And then I'll do the same thing just for, you know, our new object. So go to our reference object and then under object catalog, go to object tool top tag right here and click edit items. And here you can see that this particular bookcase item has motive fun five. So I will do the exact same thing for my pile of books. So I'm going to the pile of books, object catalog, object tool top tags, and then edit items. This one actually has inspiring decor effect on the gameplay. You know how like when your Sims get different emotions around different objects, this is what this is. And actually I don't want it, so I will remove it and I will add my fun motive and I'll put it up to five. You have all these options that you can do here. For this tutorial, I'll just do fun. Again, repeat that for all swatches. Once done, again, don't forget to click save. I keep saying that because it happens to me a lot. I'm finished with an object and I forget to click save and then I go in game and then I, I keep thinking what's wrong with my object? Where is it? Why is it not changed? And it's because I didn't click save. So yeah, don't forget to click save. Once saved, go ahead and test it in the game. Again, I'll go sort by CC. And this is our pile of books. Okay, I'm gonna go to live mode. And as you can see, if I click on it, this menu pops up as if it's a bookshelf. And I'm just going to test it if it works. So just like read a book. Emma Sim took a book out and will she read it? Yes, she is. She is reading a book. That was, I guess, a short little bonus tutorial. I hope you guys find these videos helpful. If you have any ideas about tutorials, about CC or anything really, just leave them in the comments below. I actually do have a list of all tutorial ideas that I have and I just keep adding my ideas or if I see any interesting ideas in the comments, I just add them to the list. So any suggestions are always welcomed down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to look around my channel and if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. 
doesn't cost you anything and to me it really means kind of a lot. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.